Valley News Live's whistleblower investigation continues into the Child Protective Services Department in Grand Forks County. We took a closer look after 11 social workers left the department of seven in just over a year's time. Valley News Team's Ryan Laughlin picks up the story. And I feel that his voice was taken and that anybody can do anything they want to him. Emily Nelson says there was nothing done after she filed a report with CPS after her son was abused. My son gave him a very detailed account of what happened. He knew where he was in the room, the color of the chair, what was said. He acted out what happened. She says her son was hit after she dropped him off for child care. She later learned after the investigation ran its course, nothing was going to be done. I was shocked. I wasn't sure what to think at first. I just wanted to get some more detail and figure out what happened. She says the investigation concluded that the bruise on her son's face didn't look like it came from someone hitting him. That was enough for the county to dismiss her claims. I thought Child Protective Services existed so that children had a voice. The department didn't function like a department should function. That's me sitting down with one of the 11 social workers that left the Department of Seven in just over a year's time. We're concealing this whistleblower's identity for their own protection. There, there are some cases where there are kids that go unnoticed um, or aren't receiving services when they should be. Our anonymous whistleblower admits it's hard to know if these cases should have gone differently. Without knowing the other side of the story, it's hard to say, you know, you can only hear one side of the story, whether that's the mom or the child or both of them. You don't know what the other side is or what was presented to the team. State law is supposed to make the findings in CPS reports confidential. I have first-hand experience of kids that, you know, there were serious concerns for their safety and something happened within the department that there was no follow-through um, months down. No one knows. I mean, hopefully they're okay, but there's no eyes on them to make sure of that. Our whistleblower says the problems in the department start at the top with management. Lack of organization, lack of follow through, um, and that, I mean, over time has an effect on the whole team. You know, I think the 11 people that have left should be enough of a red flag that there's something going on. Do you think the high amount of turnover and the inexperienced workers that are handling caseloads right now are affecting the services kids could be getting or not getting? I believe that it, it could affect it definitely because I mean there's there's a lot at risk when the children's safety. Absolutely my son fell through the cracks because of inexperienced workers. There's children that are gonna be hurt because of that. Clearly they need to um, go through some more training and uh, really learn what it is to be a child welfare worker. Parents and grandparents saying that a dysfunctional department is hurting kids in the county. From Grand Forks, Ryan Laughlin, Valley News Live. We did reach out to the director of the Grand Forks County Social Services, Scott Hooper. He says the county's CPS process has direct oversight by state and regional offices and that they are meeting their standards. Hooper also says that his staff is adequately trained and supervised and they're not breaking any laws or policies. As we mentioned, this story came to us through our whistleblower hotline. If you have issues, call the phone number on your screen, 701-237-6576. A member of our investigative team will get on the case and go to work to expose the truth.